You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, GH fans, Belinda from Soap Dirt here, and I want to talk about what is going on between Drew Kane and Nina Reeves and how getting frisky with the town pariah could seriously affect his life. There are five huge fallouts that I anticipate could come from this situation once it becomes common knowledge that he is doing the deed with the Crafty Crimson editor. But before we dive into this, be sure and click subscribe if you haven't done so. I predicted a while back that we were going to get an interlude of hate sex between Drew and Nina. And what I really loved this week was that he used the exact phrase I did, hate sex, when he described what they did for 45 minutes on his office floor. And I will say good for him because not only did he look really good shirtless, he's got some huge man pecs, doesn't he? Cameron Matheson is in top-notch shape. I think he got even bulkier for this. And, you know, lasting 45 minutes, I mean, that's, that's pretty impressive. Nina's got to be wowed, right? But what was insane was Nina went straight from the horizontal mambo into nagging him about helping her with her daughter Willow Tate and her issues with Michael Corinthos. So I suspect that while Drew and Nina agreed this was a bad idea and a one-off, I'm quite certain it will happen again because it looked pretty hot and maybe it might happen again and again and again and again. We will see. Especially since Drew told Nina that he that she has to make it worth his while if she wants his help. So I do suspect Nina is going to make it worth his while, but that's only as long as them diddling around on his desk stays a secret, or in this case, under the desk. But you know, since this is General Hospital, it's not going to stay a secret. And when this naughty tidbit is exposed, I expect all hell is going to break loose in Drew's life, and I see five ways it will affect him. Realistically, I don't think it will affect Nina's life that much, because I don't think that Sonny was going to take her back anyway or not anytime soon. So it could be that it's only Drew that pays the piper for laying pipe with Nina. Let's talk about it. The first thing I think is going to happen, Carly Spencer is, there's going to be big fallout with her. And remember, Drew didn't even wait until there was an issue between him and Carly with Jason Morgan's return and instead he preemptively dumped her because he suspected she would always choose his brother and Drew is not wrong about that but once Carly finds out that Drew did the deed with Nina oh my gosh she will blow up at her ex for hooking up with the woman she hates most in this world. And of course, she'll accuse Drew of sleeping with Nina to get revenge on her for being loyal to Jason. And, you know, Carly's not wrong because Nina specifically said that, you know, sticking it to her would be sticking it to Carly, basically. All right. The second piece of fallout that Drew may face could come from Sonny Corinthos. And, you know, Sonny seems prepared to walk away from Nina for good because he had Diane Miller drop divorce papers and hand delivered them to Nina. But Nina hasn't signed those papers and Ava Jerome even made a crack about them getting lost on her best friend's desk. So the bottom line is that Drew slept with Sonny's wife, even though they were separated. But in terms of respect and doing things the right way, Sonny might take offense that Drew got naked with his wife. I don't think it's a matter of Sonny necessarily wanting Nina back in that moment, but more about Sonny demanding respect and sleeping with his wife while they're still legally married could be seen as disrespecting the local mob boss. And you know, Sonny's not exactly a big fan of Drew's anyway. Never has been. Remember when he first came back when Billy Miller was playing the part and he sent Sean Butler to murder him because he didn't trust him? Yeah. So we'll see how Sonny handles this. The third source of fallout for Drew Kane, I think is also going to be just his family when they find out he's been getting frisky with someone they all despise. You know, for instance, most of the Quartermains really dislike Nina and some of them downright hate her. Olivia Falconeri Quartermain is always very supportive of Drew, but she is not going to be in this matter. She's already ready to strangle Nina at work and finding out that someone from her family is sleeping with Nina will definitely aggravate her. But most importantly, two people that Drew is very close to, Michael and Willow will probably completely freak out when they find out he has been banging 
Willow's mother. I can only imagine how difficult that will make working with Michael at Aurora and facing Willow when they don't even want Nina anywhere around them. And if Drew does use his influence with Willow to try and help Nina, boy, that could come back around to bite him twice as hard if they think Drew is doing Nina's bidding to keep getting sex from her. Awkward, right? So the fourth thing I see, Jason may be another possible source of fallout when it comes out that Drew has been taking Nina out for test drives. Not that Jason himself has any interest in Nina at all, but he's heard from Diane and others about all the bad things that Nina has done to Carly. I will say that when Diane ran through everything, of, you know, basically blaming Nina for everything wrong in Carly's life, I was like, well, that's not exactly true. But then when she went through all the details and gave those all out, I do think she was fair. I do think she fairly represented that Carly set up situations that Nina then took advantage of. That, I think, is fair. And she did include the mistakes that Carly made, like with the whole SEC thing. But, you know, Jason and Drew have never been particularly friendly. And now that Agent Cates is interrogating Drew, I think he likes his twin brother for his criminal stuff even less. But I think Jason will like Drew even less and hold him in a lower regard and with less respect when he finds out Drew is get nude with the woman that Carly blames for all her misfortunes. The fifth and final thing, last but not least, Drew could take a hit to his professional reputation for getting involved with Nina Reeves. Remember when he fired her, there was that article questioning why he would get rid of Nina, who made Crimson such a success, only to replace her with his girlfriend, who had almost no recent print media experience. Remember, Drew had to answer questions, and it made him look like he was not running his media empire very well and was instead promoting his girlfriend instead of keeping someone with talent and a successful track record. So when it comes out that he rehired the person he really shouldn't have fired and is also sleeping with that person, his employee, that's not going to be a very good look for him in terms of, you know, a pro being a professional. So there's all of that big fallout ahead for Drew and really, really not much for Nina. So in a way, this is a win-win-win for her because once Carly finds out that Nina slept with Drew, she's of course going to be enraged and that should make Nina happy. Plus Nina has crimson back as the job. She wanted that. That makes her happy. And if Sonny isn't going to take her back, then she is, Nina's absolutely petty enough to rub his face in her hot hookup. So it's not like anybody in town that hates her can really hate her any more than they already do for sleeping with Drew. Plus Nina gets to sleep with Drew, which looks pretty entertaining. And he's certainly not not hard on the eyes. So let me know what you think about this Drew and Nina mess in the comments and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and come back here every day because we're talking General Hospital seven days a week. And as always, I'm Belinda from Soap Dirt, your host on the Top Soap Opera Spoilers channel right here on YouTube. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>